a dashing one, boy. Ah, oh, still got his bare throat. Um, tip of the day. Uh, be courteous. And that goes at both ends of the job. At the restaurant. Restaurants, new staff, old staff, whichever. Um, whether it's busy or not busy, someone's going to be having a bad day at that end. And they may reflect it on you. They may make, be making your way too. But you have the option to unassign if you feel that it's not worth your time being there. Um, point is if you've been starting anything with them. Uh, they can just call door dash or whoever and just tell them that you were the one in the wrong. And if they got video footage of it of their surveillance system and you're going off on one, um, then guess who's going to get if you've been kicked off DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubber? Um, so just. Just uh, be quiet. Let them know you're there. Um, if you click on Uber Eats, um, there's a thing that say yeah, the order isn't ready. Click on that and it gives a 15 minute timer. Um, if you, on DoorDash, it tells you at the very bottom of the pickup when it shows you shows you what they're there for what you're there for who you're there for and the list of the items down the very bottom of there click on there and it and um you can say that there was an issue or whatever that is a uh uh long line at, at drive through or uh staff and not um taking any notice of you and there's other options too just click on that and uh grab up similar to but um so they've all got something to say that when you get there if you're being ignored or if they're very busy then you've got the option of putting that in there i would i do it all the time and um, that way your uh, uh, arse is cleared of any wrongdoing. It's all down to the restaurant from there. Until you hit confirm that you've uh, picked up the order. Um, but also when you go to drop off the food, if it's a hand to me, and you always be nice to the customer, unless they're being an ass to you for whatever reason. Then deal with it as you see fit. But depending on the situation, of course. Um, but don't forget, they're probably pissed off with waiting. They may have been waiting a long time. The driver before you may have uh, unassigned it, and they've had to wait for a bit longer. Um, but you can mostly talk most of the time the ones that are going to give you grief and lots of problems are those no tip orders so uh, that's why as many many as the uh, vet and veteran drivers will tell you don't take the low ball offers don't take the two dollar fifty cent orders offers don't take the three dollar offers none of them because invariably they're the ones that are going to give you grief. Um, also, uh, just if you get, if I've had this before, I, don't, I haven't had it a lot, but I had a customer um, maybe in the last two months, three months. Um, I dropped off his order 
a tried to hit a doorstep, took a picture, done all of that. I got up the end of his road and a message came in from him that it was, all of his order was not there. If you're in a position, if you're not going off to another job, then be flipping, try to help the customer. At the end of the day, a lot of these people order several times a week and you could be the driver that helps them and gets the best feedback um, from them. Personally, on this last, on that one, I looked at it and went, okay, well, I'm not going on another job and I'm only up the end of your street. So I turned around and went back, sent a message saying, I'm coming back. Uh, I got there, he was already there. He told me what was wrong and I said, oh, okay. So I immediately called the uh, restaurant. Um, unfortunately, and then he started calling the restaurant too. Unfortunately, the restaurant was just busy signal all the time. Uh, the restaurant was not far away. Maybe a mile up the street, mile and a half. I said, you know what? They're still open. I'll go back. Um, so I went back. I went back to the restaurant. Um, they had a new bloke that was working there. He hadn't been there that long. And um, when I walked in there, I said, I've been trying to call you. Customers been trying to call you. Uh, there's something wrong with our phones. Brilliant. Anyway, yeah, they said, oh, great, glad you came back. Uh, the new guy that was here didn't realise that there was still more, more, in, more that was being made in the kitchen and just gave you what was there. As dashers or as food delivery drivers, we're not allowed to look in the bags. And, uh, I mean, all we can do is ask if it's all there. And, uh, and yeah, I grabbed what was there, turned around, went straight back to the customer. Luckily, I remembered his address. <laughs> Uh, I told him I was on his way back, sent him a text, so I'm on my way back, got, got what it was. Got up there, he was waiting outside, and uh, gave him his, the rest of his food, and said, sorry about that, and went to carry on, and uh, I went to get back in my van, and uh, he turned around and said, no, no, he said, here, and he gave me, some more, gave me more of a tip. I said, no, no, it's okay, I don't, I don't want any more of the tip. It should have been done right in the first place. I insisted. And yeah, um, he said it had happened several times before, but I've been the only dash to which you go back. And I said, well, you know, I'll be fair, I was only up the end of your road, and I was in a position to come back and help with that. Um, but if I'd been on a stacked order, then maybe I would have had to, uh, let you know to, uh, call DoorDash. But, like I said, I was in a position to go back and help on that. So if you're ever in a position like that, then go back. Like I said, these people, they all, many of them order several times a week. Some of them order several times a day. Um, how they do that, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so yeah, just always look after your customers. It may not be you that ever sees them again, but remember, if you're delivering in your town, you're probably, the chances are, and it's a smaller town, chances are you'll meet with these people again. Especially if you're, if they're ordering from restaurants that you actually go to. You might meet them in the restaurant. In fact, that bloke that I have here been went and dropped, done that help for, help, helped him get his uh, food. He eats at that restaurant. I've seen it, seen his vans there. And I've seen his vans outside there since. Um, so, I remember we eat there once a week at this restaurant at least. So, um, 
just be helpful. Remember the town that you're delivering in. It's the town that you probably have been residing. Um, personally, I don't reside in Lee Summit. I reside in Raytown. I just don't like the delivery in Raytown. I prefer it in Lee Summit. I should have moved to bloody Lee Summit. But I had neighbours here except for the bloody idiot across the road. Oh, real nice. So, probably ain't going to be moving anytime soon. But anyway, uh, look out for your customers. Look out for the restaurants. Get, get to know the restaurants. Get to know the people at the restaurants. Uh, it's hard to do at times because a lot of them have a lot of turnover. But um, be there for them. You know, be courteous to them, be courteous to customers. Doesn't always work. And I'll be the first to say that. If someone gives me a earache about something, it ain't going very far from now. Because someone gives me a earache and it's not justified, then, well, the situation goes a little bit downhill. But, if you're in a situation where you feel threatened, then you got you can call support. There's uh, Uber Eats has got like a little shield thing on it. You can get straight through to support, I believe. But you can also call the uh, 911 lot too. And the same with uh, DoorDash as well. I don't know about Grubhub. But of course you can always call uh, cops if need be. And yeah, that's that one. So just be courteous. Be thoughtful, be courteous. These people pay a lot of money. Whether it's you that picks it all up at the same time, picks it up every day, doesn't matter. I mean, if they get a good experience from from something that could be a right real pain in the ass for them, if you help them, then you could be the net, you'll get good feedback and they're gonna use DoorDash again. And if they use DoorDash again, then chances are you might well be that hipping driver that picks it up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And hit that bell icon too. And uh, that way you get warned of uh, when the new videos come out. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, ta-da.